Hi, welcome to uh, the video on counting electron domains and lone pairs. So in this unit, unit 4b, we're learning about the VSCPR theory. And VSCPR stands for valence shell electron pair repulsion theory. And it's used to predict shapes and angles of a molecule. The valence shell describes the electron pairs in both bonds and lone pairs around the central atom. Repulsion describes the fact that these electron pairs want to be as far apart as possible. So the shape that results from the fact that these electron pairs want to be as far apart as possible are the shapes of the molecules. Now in order to determine the shapes of the molecules, we need to know how much space around that central atom is occupied by electron pairs and what type of electron pairs, whether bond pairs or lone pairs. And so for that, we use what's called electron domains. So electron domains are the spaces occupied by bonds and lone pairs around a central or focal atom. What we're gonna learn next is how to count these um, electron domains and lone pairs. So here are the rules for counting. First thing is we're focusing on a central or focus atom. So if you have a molecule and it has a central atom, that's what you're going to um, focus on. However, if you have a larger molecule that doesn't have a central atom, then you'll be told which, which atom to focus on. So after we find our central or focus atom, then we're gonna count the spaces occupied by bond, bonds and lone pairs. A Couple things to note, all bonds, whether single, double, or triple will count as one, and, and we only need to count uh, lone pairs on the central atom. So if they're lone pairs on terminal atoms, we ignore those. Let's look at our first example. CCL4. All right, so we're gonna find our central atom, which is this carbon in the middle, and then we're gonna count the spaces occupied by bonds and lone pairs. So that's one, two, three, four. So this has four electron domains. Now let's determine how many lone pairs this structure has. Zero, so you may be wondering, well, why aren't there 12 lone pairs? Because I counted 12. Remember for VSEPR, we only count lone pairs on central atom. If we were looking at using um, at applying the octet rule, for example, then yes, we would want to count lone pairs on the terminal atoms as well. Um, but in this case, that um, for VSCPR, it's only lone pairs on central atoms. Let's look at another example. COCl2. So once again, we're going to find our central atom. In this case, it's carbon. Once again. And we're going to count the spaces occupied by bonds and lone pairs. So we're going to get three electron domains, zero lone pairs. Now you may be asking, why aren't there four electron domains? Remember, for VSCPR, we count single, double, and triple bonds as one. So even though this is a double bond here, it's still um, occupying the same space as if, if whether this was a single, double, or triple bond. So we're gonna count this as one electron domain. Next example, NF3. I want you guys to try this one on your own first. So pause the video now, and when you press play again, the answer will be revealed. Okay, so this one has four electron domain and one lone pair. So you may be thinking, well, why aren't there um, why is electron domains equal to four, not three? Like, I think it should be three. So why is that? Don't forget to count lone pairs around the central atom as well. So here we have three electron domains from the bond and then an additional one from a lone pair, giving us a total of four electron domains. So let's look at a case where there's no central atom. What do we do here? Let's say in this molecule we wanted to wanted you to count the number of electron domains and lone pairs around the nitrogen. And I sort of color coded the nitrogen so we know which ones we're focusing on. How many electron domains and lone pairs are around this nitrogen? Pause the video now and when you press play again, the answer will be revealed. So just focusing on the nitrogen, we have three electron domains and one lone pair. Let's see why that is. So this nitrogen has a single bond here a lone pair there, and a triple bond attached to it. Notice I'm only focusing on the lone pairs and bonds that are directly attached to the nitrogen. I'm not focusing on any other bonds in the molecule. 
and that gives me a total of three electron domains, one of which is a lone pair. Now, why don't you try it? So in this case, we have um, one three butadiene, and I'm actually determined the number of electron domains for any carbon in the structure below. And the reason why I say any carbon is that no matter which carbon you pick in this structure, it will be the same. So pause this video now, and when you press play again, um, the number of alone, electron domains and lone pairs um, will be revealed. Okay, so here's the answer. We have three electron domains, zero lone pairs. Now let's try it for a couple of the um, carbon atoms here. So let's start with this one on the end. So I'm marking it in red so we know which ones we're focusing on. So once again, I'm only going to focus on bonds or lone pairs that's directly touching this carbon. And that gives me one, two, three electron domains. Now, none of these electron domains are lone pairs, so that's where the zero lone pairs come from. Let's try it with another structure here, this carbon here. So this carbon sort of like in the middle of the molecule, and let's see if we get a different result. It should be the same. So focusing on this carbon, I'm just going to focus on the bonds that are directly touching it. And these are the three bonds or lone pairs that are directly touching it. They're all bonds, no lone pairs, so that gives me the three electron domains, zero lone pairs. All right, now it's time to, for practice. Um, so for that, you're going to um, redo practice problems in part two of the unit 4B day two packet and check your answers and correct any mistakes. Remember, the more you practice, the better you get. So if, you want to, if you're curious, like, what part of the packet is that and you are more a more visual person, this is what it should look like. This is part two. For, the, for these structures, you have to draw the Lewis dot structures first and then determine the number of electron domains and number of lone pairs. So you're going to do that um, and um, check your answers and correct your mistakes. All right, that's it for this video. Have a quality day.